Uh, greetings folks, just a quick video for you today, uh, well hopefully it'll be quick. Here we have some Romano-British or Arthurian, however you want to term them, uh, infantry ready, getting ready for Hell Caesar. These are from Victrix, from their late Roman unarmoured infantry uh, set, which as with most Victrix uh, sets I find to be lovely models and lovely to put together. Um, the assembly of all 16 models here and the priming took a total of about an hour and a half with a couple of little interruptions. So now I'm going to see how long it takes to paint them using my normal method of an undercoat with this stuff. The pre-shade with some Agrax Earth shade and then uh, belts and armour followed by any bits of appropriate colour as I've shown on other videos before. We'll see how long it takes. And there we have pre-shading done, 16 models, just a touch over half an hour, about 35 minutes or so. Overly straightforward. Right, just over an hour to do the metal, which is basically the, obviously the helmet, weapons like swords or spear tips, and a couple of them that have got male coats. Um, but that includes making a cup of tea for the missus as well, that time taken. But yeah, there we go, that's the next stage done. Next stage will be leather, like belts, straps, boots. Well, no tea making interruptions this time. Just over half an hour to quickly put um, the leather colours, like on boots and uh, straps and so on. Oh, and in a couple of cases, slightly gold coloured on the sword hilts, where there were swords rather than spears. So that was quite a quick thing. Little, little um, 30 minute. Uh, pop there so not too bad at all on to the next bit and the next stage of proceedings the flesh has been done with Gilman flesh and um, <clears throat> the weapon shafts like spear shafts axe handles that sort of thing have been done with agaros dunes i forgot to say actually in the previous stage the uh, leather and uh, what have you was done with snake bite leather this is all pretty much all contrast paints apart from the um <coughs> metallic which was uh Lead Belcher. All Games Workshop uh, acrylic paints. So yes, now this, the, the stage that you can see here, this is probably the last of the universal, in inverted commas, um, stages. The rest will be all sort of relatively individual, you know. A couple will have red cloaks, a couple will have green trousers, etc, etc. So it'll all be varied, nearly all pri um, contrast paints. And then uh, the final stage will be to um, <clears throat> apply a black wash over the uh, armour parts and then as a final thing um, I'll be painting uh, shields and applying transfers separately but I'll come back before we get to that stage just to show you how I've been getting on and there we are all on their bases ready for their shields to be applied and the uh, basing material to be put on all I've done since the last stage is just go around uh, the models with a relatively limited colour palette adding a few colours to the clothing. I've used a couple of different shades of green, one slightly lighter than the other, one particular shade of red that's been thinned down in a couple of places more than it has in others, and a couple of different shades of grey, uh, not 50 shades, <laughs> and um, in quite a few areas to represent a sort of a linen beige plain colour than just the pre-shading as applied on top of the undercoat has been left as is. It gives a sort of reasonable differentiation, but still seeing, uh, seeming to be unified because of the limited colour palette. It looks reasonably okay, I think. So yes, next steps, basing material and shields. Just a quickie before I do the basing. I've um, done the shields using some little big man studio transfers. Um, sprayed the shields uh, with wraith bone, applied the little big man studio transfers, uh, painted the shield bosses with lead belcher and then sort of blended the edges of the, um, what you call it, uh, transfers into the shield with some appropriate colours. Um, yeah, that's them. And they'll be stuck on the models uh, at the same time as the basin. So just to round it off, here we go, not quite finished the basing. I've undecided yet as to whether to do a bit of snow and mud or whether to do lots of green grass, but the basic basing texture is there. And you get the idea of having seen the uh, the filming of it beforehand. 
as usual with Victrix models, lovely to paint, very straightforward to paint using contrast and the uh, method that described in this video. Um, this is going to be a slow burn project for me, a sort of in the background whilst I'm getting on with other things. Um, I was toying with the idea of actually doing them as late Romans, but um, I've already done all of these already, so uh, I'll keep on with the Arthurians, sort of Romano-British type. Who knows, they could be somewhat ragged late Romans if I wanted them to be. But there we go. Lovely models to paint and enjoyable having done so. Thanks for watching.